Hello my friends, welcome to a new tutorial. In this video I'm gonna show you how to crochet this goofy little space slice. Yes, this is not a pizza slice or a blueberry pie, this is a space slice. The written pattern is found in the Amigurumi calendar of 2024 and it is the September pattern. To make this little space slice you will need cotton yarn in a dark purple, lighter purple and a yellow color. I am using Karma Cotton from Kremke Soul Wool. You'll need a crochet hook. I am using a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook for this project. A pair of scissors. And a darning needle to weave in all the ends. And to sew together the pieces, of course. You will also need to know how to crochet single crochets, magic circles and increases. Okay, let's start with the main slice part. It is crocheted with yellow yarn and we are starting off by making a magic circle and I am crocheting two chain stitches and then in the second chain from the hook I am making six single crochets. On the next round we are gonna crochet two single crochets, one increase, repeat that twice until we have eight stitches. So one, two, and then an increase. And repeat that one more time. On the third round we are gonna crochet three single crochets, one increase, repeat that twice until we have ten stitches. So one, two, three and a increase. And repeat that one more time. On the next round we are gonna crochet four single crochets, one increase, repeat that twice until we have 12 stitches. So one, two, And repeat that one more time. On round five we are going to crochet five single crochets, one increase, repeat that twice until we have 14 stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, and a increase. And repeat that one more time. On round six we are going to crochet six single crochets, one increase, repeat that twice until we have 16 stitches. On the next round 
we are gonna crochet one, two, three, four, five, six, seven single crochets, one increase and repeat that twice until we have 18 stitches. On the next round we are going to crochet 8 single crochets, 1 increase, repeat that twice until we have 20 stitches. I am too fast, so I already started the next round. <laughs> On the next round we are gonna crochet 9 single crochets, 1 increase, repeat that twice until we have 22 stitches. And I'm already at the first increase. Okay, on the next round we are gonna crochet 10 single crochets, 1 increase, repeat that twice until we have 24 stitches. On the next round we are gonna crochet 11 single crochets, 1 increase, repeat that twice until we have 20 six stitches. Next round we are going to crochet 12 single crochets, one increase, repeat that twice until we have 28 stitches. On the next round we are going to crochet 13 single crochets, one increase, repeat that twice until we have 30 stitches. Hmm, let's see if I will win or lose yarn chicken. There is not that much yarn left, but we also don't have that much left to crochet on our main space slice apart. The last thing we are gonna do is to close up the space slice with 15 single crochets. So we are gonna pick up the first and then we're gonna pick up the last stitch and make your fold your piece so that you have two rows of stitches. 15 stitches in front and 15 stitches in the back. Like this. The last thing we need to do is to cut off the yarn and weave in the ends. If you want to hang this slice in your Christmas tree or on a bag or on a pair of keys, 
you can actually leave this yarn and attach it to uh, just fold it or like sew in one part of the end and you can hang it in your Christmas tree or you can sew this piece onto a key ring for example let's see if I can find a needle I am planning to have this in my Christmas tree but I don't want the yellow yarn I am gonna have a golden yarn to hang it up with instead so that is why I am gonna weave in both ends by just sewing through the stitches That's enough. Like that. Only a little bit of yarn left or some tiny details on some other project. The next thing we are gonna make is the sauce. And the sauce is crocheted with a lighter purple yarn. And we are gonna start off by crocheting, oops, two chain stitches. Then we are gonna crochet two single crochets in the second chain from the hook. And then we are gonna chain one and turn our piece. So this part is crocheted back and front not in the round. On the next row we are gonna crochet two single crochets. So one single crochet in each stitch. Then we're making a chain and then turn. So at the end of each row we are always making one chain and then we are turning. On row, row, sorry, <laughs> on row three, we're gonna crochet two increases. So one increase in each stitch. Then a chain and turn. On the next round, we're gonna crochet four single crochets. So one single crochet in each stitch. On the next round, which should be row five, we are gonna crochet one increase, two single crochets and one increase. Chain and turn. On row six, we are gonna crochet six single crochets. So one single crochet in each stitch again. On the next round, on the next row, sorry, uh, it is confusing when you're working with rows and rounds, but we are working on rows now because we are crocheting back and forth. On row seven, we are gonna crochet one increase, four single crochets, and one increase. So a increase in the first and in the last stitch, and then single crochets in between. chain and turn. On the next row we're gonna crochet eight single crochets. So one single crochet in each stitch. One, two, 
This is our last row and on the last row we are going to crochet one increase, six single crochets and one increase. You should have 10 stitches in total at the end. I am living very dangerously today but I am pretty sure that there will be enough yarn for this piece. And let's end up with a increase. And let's cut off the yarn, but save maybe 25 centimeters for sewing the sauce onto the slice. The other yarn from the beginning we can weave in. The last pieces that we need to make is the toppings and they are crocheted with a darker purple and we are basically making three magic circles with six single crochets. So let's start with the first one. Two chains and in the second chain six single crochets. Or if you prefer the other magic ring or magic circle method, feel free to use that one too. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, and then six, and then we're done. We're just gonna cut off the yarn, save some for the assembling, maybe is this 20 centimeters? And in the pattern, I recommend you to weave in this yarn end, but in this video, I am gonna show you how to not have to do that part. <laughs> because we can actually, uh, when we have sewed this onto that piece, we can just tie these two together and then pull them through the slice and then just cut them off. That will save us a little bit of time. But before moving on to the next part, we are gonna close this one with a invisible stitch. You can do this with a needle or you can do this with a crochet hook. But the main thing is to make the seam invisible like this so that you can't really tell where the beginning or the end is. So let's put that aside and make two more. Okay, we have arrived at the assembling part of this tutorial and we are gonna start off by attaching the sauce to the main slice by just sewing up and down along the edge. And you can pin these two together if you feel like it. I think I will manage by just squeezing them together with my thumb.
Okay, we have the sauce. Now it's time to attach the toppings. And that is done in the same way. Sewing up and down, placing them wherever you feel like, or following on how they kind of are placed in the picture. I'm gonna try <laughs> to get them uh, as they look in the picture because I like how they turned out. And here I'm just grabbing a couple of stitches from the topping or the slice depending on where I'm currently sewing and then just going up and down. Like this, and when we have our two yarn ends close together again, I am just gonna tie a knot. Take the crochet hook, push it through, <laughs> and then pull the yarn ends on the inside. And then we can cut them off. Ta da! First topping attached. Two more to go. And this is how the final piece, space slice, looks like. I think it's super duper cute and you could easily change this up into a pizza slice by changing the colors if you would like to. I hope you enjoyed this little goofy project. If you did, let me know in the comments. I would also love to know what you think this space slice tastes like. Thank you so so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!